Hi guys, it's Bram. Welcome to the first Bram Talks on YouTube. First, let me introduce myself. Um, I'm 25 years old. I'm living in Antwerp and most people know me as a digital artist from the Behance Network. Um, why I'm doing this? Really quickly, um, last three years, the only thing I've been doing online is sharing or showcasing my portraits, my sports illustrations. And um, I think it's only been two or three months where I've been really struggling, you know, sharing the things that I really like. So for instance, um, first thing first, um, my full day, if you want to know like how my day looks, the digital art part is only like two or three hour thing I do every day. Most part, 10 to 12 hours a day, I'm working at the bank. Um, at the bank, I'm a full-time art director, working with amazing user experience designers, amazing ICT people, uh, working on mobile applications, desktop applications, working on marketing campaigns, really exciting stuff. And I would love to share things like that. You know, I wanna talk about mobile applications, I wanna talk about different things, but it's, you can imagine how weird it is coming from a digital artist or an artist doing portraits, immediately go over to talk about mobile applications or talking about marketing strategies. It's odd. So this is actually why I start this show. Um, I want to bring more value. I want to talk about things that, that I really like. And um, I want to do this in a format where everyone understands that it's not only digital art. So that's really cool. I hope this turn, this, this project turns in something really nice. We'll see what happens. Um, but that's really what I want to do. I want to bring value and I want to share things that I really like. So let's start with the first topic um, really quickly. Last week I went to the OFF festival in Barcelona. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. And at this festival, almost every creative I met there talked about their personal projects. So I want to talk really honest about my own experience and why you should invest in your personal project, your side project. For me, this is a side project. Okay. Um, right now, as a digital artist, I believe like I've been working five to six years to, to really brand myself as an artist doing portraits and, and doing sport illustrations. But the last two or three years, I've been really focusing on my personal projects. You know, I invest in my own projects and not um, link myself with a brand, for instance. Um, why is it so important? One, doing your personal projects means that you're doing something that matters to you. And that's where it all begins, you know. You're really focusing on what do you like? What is it that you want to learn? Um, it's not really, it's not, the thing is, you're working for yourself now. You know, your, your personal projects, there's no client with guidelines, there's nothing, there's just you. This thing alone makes you, as a creative, puts you in a position where you choose where you go and it really helps to map out, you know, what's my journey, what's my, my mission, where do I want to go, like the pursuit of happiness and find that inner voice. So that's really, you know, it's, it's important as creative to, to really work on your own voice. And why is that? Um, in these personal projects, you are very sensitive on things that matter. You pick up little things that, that matter to you that you wouldn't have um, discovered while working for another brand, for instance. So once you learn these things that, that makes you happy in these personal projects, you can bring these things and hopefully use them in new strategies when you're working for an A brand because you know we all know we have to make our money we have to work with these brands but doing those personal projects you find so much more about you and you can actually you know when working for a brand for instance you can pull things out of that project knowing you know like this is really important for me you can share it with the client and tell them like you know what with this project, 
I have discovered that I'm really good at this and this, and I really want to bring this to your project. I know it's not something that you're you know, waiting for, it's not something that was briefed to me, but is it possible to, to put this element where I'm really good at, bring it to the project? And this is where you can scale your project, or where you can say like, oh, this is not something that's on my road, so you stop working with the client. So what I want to say is, <clears throat> Working on your personal on your personal project on your side projects can really you know bring so much more value to the brand as well. So, so all I can say is really invest the time and effort in your personal project. It will help you in the long term. You know, definitely young designers really invest and, and take risks. Go all in in this personal projects. Don't listen to what your teacher is saying. I met this student like two weeks ago. He started making amazing portraits, but the teacher told him like, no, this is not gonna work. I've seen this before. And thing is, doing this in a personal project, stay away from people like that. Don't show it to teachers, just do it. And, you know, learn things that makes you happy. If these portraits make you happy, you should do it and you will get better at it and you will find ways to make it more personal, all that stuff, but you have to start somewhere. You have to start investing in it. It's not gonna happen in one day. So, so that's really important. So that's really all I can say. Um, I will talk about this a little bit more. Uh, I wanna keep these videos a little bit shorter, but it's it's still like an introduction um, to this. But show. okay, for the next video, I wanna, I wanna know from you, are you working on personal projects? How is it going? Is there, is there any way I can help? Just let me know. Um, so we can talk about it in the next show. All right, so thank you so much for watching to the first Bram talk. I see you later. Okay, have a good night, bye.